What's going on guys, your boy Joey672 coming at you guys with a video. Um, I want to talk to you guys about something that's been pissing me off. And it's probably been pissing everybody off. Like, why hasn't this has been done yet? Why hasn't anything of this been done yet? And what I'm talking about is why haven't they put Paul Turner on the active roster yet? The guy's been on the team since preseason. Um, and he's been outstanding. Uh, the best receiver in preseason um, with 175 yards receiving... Um, and a 71-yard punt return for a touchdown um, from the last preseason game against the New York Jets. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. I have no idea. Like, they should just give this guy a fucking shot and just put him in a few plays and just see what he can do. Because they're trying out everybody. You got DGB that's barely putting in any work. He has his days. He hasn't really shined in weeks. Um, I think the last time he really shined was Pittsburgh, really. Um or no, Detroit, something like that, did very well. Um, and I'm very big on DGB. I just don't know why they're not throwing to him. Um, another thing is that... Um, who else is really doing anything? Jordan Matthews is fucking... He's making up for it, but he's dropping his passes still. Nelson Aguilar. Don't even get me on Nelson Aguilar. I don't have to talk about that motherfucker ever again. That's just a waste of fucking time talking about. That's just a waste of breath out of my mouth. Waste of using my voice box to fucking talk for this fucking guy that can't catch anything. When he catches a four-yard pass, a four-yard receiving pass, he's like, yeah, you know, it makes a big fucking deal about it. Like he did something. I mean, we we make a challenge. We do a challenge on a fucking four-yarder yesterday to Nelson Aguilar. Probably got eight yards altogether with all his fucking passes. Um... Doesn't do anything. J-Mass the only one. Really? Really? Receive wide receiver wise. I'm not talking about tight ends. I'm talking about wide receivers. And honestly, like, we gotta drag ourselves with this shit the rest of the fucking year. Thank God we didn't sign Alshon Jeffrey. Thank fucking God, because he is already suspended for the next three games, four games for PED usage. And um, we don't need that shit because that would have been really fucking embarrassing to us Eagles fans if we picked up Alshon Jeffrey. It wouldn't have mattered if we picked up Alshon Jeffrey because he's franchise tagged and we wouldn't have been able to do a damn thing or extend his contract. So technically, we'd, he'd be a, a, an, an eight-game rental and then that's it. And then he could walk into free agency. He could say, oh, I promise I'll sign with you guys. I really like this team. But he doesn't have to fucking promise a damn thing because he's going into free agency and he doesn't have to promise anything. So, Paul Turner's got to get his shot. I mean, this isn't right. They're giving Bryce Treggs a, a try. I know I know. Paul Turner ain't fucking fast. But um, I actually know he's very um, elusive if he catches the ball. He can actually run after the catch very well. But he doesn't have great speed. But we're not talking about the fucking speed. We can have Bryce Treggs on every play. We can, Bryce Treggs is not even getting the ball thrown. The last game, Bryce Treggs didn't get any catches. Didn't throw the ball to him. DGB didn't get the ball thrown to him. Is it the coach? Is the coach telling him to throw to a certain receiver? Is Wentz real or, or is he giving Wentz the freedom to throw to whoever he wants? I think Wentz is throwing whenever he wants to whoever he wants. Um, it's fucking crazy. But they got to give this guy a fucking chance. I'm sorry, but they have to. They're giving everybody a chance on that team. And... This guy hasn't got, been given a fucking opportunity to show his damn skills on the football field. And they got to do something. It's it's getting to the point where, all right, can you guys just put him on the field? Like, you put Bryce Treggs on the field, and he had, what, so far three catches for over 100 yards so far? Um, with a 58-yarder from the Giants game? I mean, the only problem with Treggs is that he's really fucking small. But he, they got to use him. I mean, the size is not even the, the, the issue. It shouldn't be the issue. If he's fast and he can do quick slants up the middle and do whatever he's got to do, I don't see why not put him in the fucking game or try to throw to him. There's got to be a mismatch with his fucking speed. I don't see why not. So they should give Paul Turner a fucking chance. I'm tired of this shit. And Nelson Aguilar is just... Uh, he, dude, just put him as a slot or something. Because honestly, putting him as an outside fucking uh, a deep threat that we're supposed to have... He's not doing a fucking thing. I don't know how many times... I have to tell you this. I don't know how many times that we all have to talk about this. Because we talk about it every fucking week. Oh, Nelson Aguilar, no fucking catches. Nelson Aguilar uh, didn't get even over 10 yards fucking receiving. I mean, do we really have to talk about this? We talk about this all the fucking time. And it's like to the point where it's like... 
Elf Nagalore, it's like, oh my god, you're just a fucking headache and just a dead weight fucking piece of shit drag on this fucking team. Like, come on now. It's just to the fucking point, like, what the fuck? I just hate saying the guy's fucking name. I just can't stand it anymore. Like, he's a nice guy and he's cool and, you know, he really wants to play hard. But I'm sorry, but this team is not willing to keep you here when you're not putting in the fucking production that the team needs you to put in. I thought after you got that touchdown pass at the Cleveland Browns game over the head, you fucking ran up and you and they used it by using El Nelson Aguilar like that. I thought he was going to have maybe a different year. I thought Josh, Josh Huff was going to be to have a different year when he came. He wasn't having a good year either. Special teams was his strength. Now he's on the practice squad in Tampa Bay. So, they got to give Paul Turner a chance. I can't stand watching these fucking receivers anymore. I can't. Thank God we, our run game is doing something because thank God Ryan Matthews is healthy. And, man, I hope he stays healthy and I hope he runs the fuck out of over everybody. I just hope. But... Please give Paul Turner a fucking chance. I am fucking begging you. Give him a fucking shot. I mean, for the love of God. I mean, is it going to fucking hurt put him on the field for a few uh, a few series? I mean, come on now. You're saying that Aguilar is better than Paul Turner? For God fucking sakes. I mean, are you fucking serious? He was dropping... Nelson Aguilar was dropping fucking passes in preseason, for God's sakes. Come on now. Preseason is preseason, but if you can catch a ball, you can catch a fucking ball. I can see if Nelson Aguilar caught... I, like, was a top receiver in preseason. I caught, like, you know, 20 passes for, like, you know, 600 fucking yards. Then I'd be like, holy fuck, man. He's a beast. And then he fails in the regular season. I could see that. But that's not the case. God, put fucking... I know Paul Turner is a slot guy. But put him the fuck in. For... Just get Nelson. Man. Just get that fucking guy. I mean, I look on TV on the game, and I fucking see them wearing his... I see a few people wearing his jersey. I'm like, thank fucking God and get this fucking jersey. Jesus Christ. Thank fucking God not wearing that number 17. You know what number 17 we need is Dalshon Jeffrey. That's the number 17 that we we're looking for after this fucking season. After the season's over. Fucking, that's the number fucking 17 we need. I'm gonna relax, guys. Bleed fucking green. Preview video for the Seahawks. And I ain't done because I got to talk about the Seahawks. So tomorrow I will make that video. And that's it. So you guys have a good day. Joey672 out.